device six rated these things, but I stand a chance. Well, there's no problem. You had a gun, shoot him in the head. That's a sure way to kill him. If you don't get yourself a club or a torch, beat him or burn him. They go up pretty easy. Well, it's usually with Ellen. How long do you think it'll take you until you get the situation? Well, that's pretty hard to say. You don't know how many of them there are. No way to find them to kill them. Are they slow moving too? Yeah, they're dead. They're homeless. Zombie Popcorn Radio. This is July 24th, 2010. This is Jason. This is Paul. And we are finally here. So what's up, Paul? It's freaking hot. It is damn hot. It's like a 102 degrees here today. And it's supposed to be the same tomorrow. And it's freaking humid. It feels like you're just walking into a shower. I think we are just walking into a shower. Oh, wait, no, that's later. Yeah, yeah, oh, golden. Sweet. <laughs> what was that? Oh. So, yeah. I don't know. So, thanks for bearing with us during our technical difficulties. Um, I think we got those worked out now, hopefully. Let me double check one last thing. Yep, we are good. We are running strong. <laughs> I don't know if good is the word. Uh, I, I hope that Gail isn't listening. <laughs> 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 What are, you, what are you worried about? Because all she has to do is listen to the archives. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's the, archive. the same damn thing. <laughs> I mean, we don't we don't pull any punches here. I mean, that's just the way we, we roll. <laughs> Shit happens Rough, this way. <laughs> like with the, with the square wheel. <laughs> yeah. No, see, what happened, what I think what happened was my CPU fan last week this week i don't even know it anymore it's all fucked up died on me so it totally just you know for the safety precautions it's built in shut down my computer so i had to get a new cpu fan because it was just old and it went out um so i bought one had to disconnect everything and any, anybody that has a computer know anytime you disconnect something from your computer especially every little wire that goes into it when you put it back together there's always something not right with it. I've never had to work on my computer. Oh, really? Yes. Wow. Because I, you, no, it's not true. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't work on them. Yeah, on the current one. No. Yeah. Yeah. But um, that's not real wood. That's um. <laughs> Knock off the mic. Huh? <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so I had to unhook everything, put put the new the new fan in, and put it back in. And I've been fighting with this thing for the last three days, trying to get it to work right and. Paul can can um, <laughs> testify to the, that we had it working right like five minutes before the show. The video, audio, everything was working, and then all of a sudden just said, fuck you. It's not true. Oh, you lying. <laughs> I came in, and I had to give him, like, great. smell insults, sober him up, give him some coffee. <laughs> I was drunk. Yeah, yeah, just in, like, three 40s on the floor. And a, I know, man. Like a bag that was filled with Scotch Guard cleaner, and it was awful. We should we should inform the the, the ladies that they are mic'd. I turned their mic off actually. Yeah, I can yeah. Still hear them. I know. Well, I said I said you're still mic'd, and my wife said I don't give a fuck. <laughs> so I was like, oh, apparently not. So <laughs> then I just cut it off. Okay. Well, w- I, we were trying to include them into the She's show. She's a lovely, give them a delicate mic, flower. They just they don't they don't care. <laughs> they don't give a <laughs> shit. <laughs> but anyway, let's get this show going. I mean, we are, we are running a little, little behind, but it's all right. We talk about this next thing all the time, and I'm so very excited. It's th- I think this is the first time ever that I've been excited for a TV series. Um, at Comic Con, except they, when the nanny came out. Well, that I mean, who was it? Fran Drescher yeah. is awesome. Anyway, <laughs> but this isn't this the second. Excited, most excited I've been about a TV <laughs> series, and, and of course I'm talking about AMC's The Walking Dead. At, at Comic Con, they released, they, or well, they didn't release. The show now. They, uh, yeah, no, we're not turning the mic back on now. <laughs> but um, they 
at Comic Con they played the trailer for the for the Walking Dead and. How professional is that? Take a drink in the middle. <laughs> of it's kind of like an interview we took part in. <laughs> yeah, we'll get to that later. But um, so somebody bootlegged the trailer and put it online. So let's take a moment and check out the bootleg trailer for The Walking Dead. You know what? I should probably buffer this real quick. So let's Probably. talk about. Let's talk about this. A little let's bit more. talk about something. <laughs> but, <laughs> no, but it's actually it actually looks really fucking good. You can hear Hassan's voice. <laughs> the show would be good if you had a little pre-production in <laughs> We But the show is. I good. hear Hassan's voice everywhere I now. Think have, I think you have a crush on Hassan. Yeah. Whenever something comes up with like Team Jacob, I'm like, what would Hassan do? <laughs> That's funny. All right, so I think we got some buffer going on. We can do this now. Here is the bootleg trailer for AMC's The Walking Dead.
The Walking Dead. That video looks fucking awesome. It's beautiful. It really is. My favorite scene is the very last one. Yeah. It but looks so uh, Day of the Dead. You think so? Yeah. I mean, not completely, but it just... I mean, it could be the fact that we're watching a bootleg trailer. Yeah, I mean, makes it the, dude, little, the dude has a yeah. shaky cam going on. But I, I don't. I mean, the original. Yeah. Not the, not the remake. I don't know. Man, we got a lot of trailers to talk about. I know. That's an awesome trailer. You that, sent me the, uh, <laughs> the red band trailer for Machete last night. I let me finish. I know. That. I'm just, I'm, I'm just saying that's coming up. It, it is. No, it, it definitely trailers. is. But I think The Walking Dead is going to be definitely. A um, th- the best. I'm gonna definitely want to buy the whole box set DVD, right? You know, whatever. Because I think it, it just the the zombies look great. It looks like the story plot's really good. Um, it it just looks amazing. And I don't. I can't even remember when there was a time that there was a, ever a zombie, uh, you know, TV series. No, I don't think there has. Been. No, I don't think there has been either. It's going to be awesome. It is going to no, be it's off. awesome. It on. So, yeah. He's got to unmute your, uh, no. can you unmute you their channel? Yeah. yeah. I probably need to move their fader up as well. No. Try that. Hello. Ooh. I don't know. No, her voice really sounds that great. It's not the. <laughs> 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 no, sorry. Yeah. She's going to start throwing tapioca at me. <laughs> okay, so yeah, Duty Movement says you can't even think of a, a zombie movie, TV zombie series. Show. Yeah, I don't think there ever has been. I don't think there has been either. But since we're on the topic of zombies, before we go to the trailer you brought up, um, there's something that uh, I read today. Well, you know the book um, by Max Brooks, uh, World War Z? Yeah, I read half of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. I did. It, you know, it was really good, but I just kind of stopped halfway. I was like, eh. Well, you, you're... You, I need to go back. But you're going your, you're to get your chance to not have to worry about reading it because Paramount is picking it up. And guess who the star lead row of the film is going to be well if just, i was going to look at guess. this this font that's down here on this printed piece of paper you well, don't gave me. don't look at that oh well, i i can't guess then i'll have to ask jan to guess who's going to be the star of world war z if you had Come, to cast it, anybody well, i don't really know what it's about oh, it's a zombie movie well, it's it's, it's like you remember the book i bought that yeah. was about like it was uh well basically they're it, almost uh, like military notes about the uh at the aftermath of a zombie uprising and apocalypse. And is the what is the main character's role? What is uh, he? He's a military guy mm. who's compiling all this stuff. I guess would be. Yeah. <gasps> I don't know. Hoodie Miley sucked in a lot of air, so it looks like sounds like she has. Um, is it Nicolas Cage? No. Oh. No, it's not Nicolas Cage. Um. But I think I would feel equally about. I no, I I think this guy can do it. Really? Yeah, he's a See, I think, but I think it's gonna be just Ooh. like his last movie. Oh, uh, Will Smith? No. No. Oh, God. Okay. no. He's already he's already done guess, a movie. Yeah. He already did a, a zombie movie. Yeah, so. No. I no. wish it was even oh, That yeah. would be good. No, but this guy is a good actor. I think people give him crap. Do you think he's a good? I think he's only a good. I no. I think no. he's. A, I think he's close. only a good actor when so he plays close, a crazy though. person. So freaking close. He's, but he's only a good actor it's when he plays a crazy like person. Tom Cruise were to kiss this actor in a way that would bring him back to life. In a, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's not guessing. You're just like you're feeding the answers. <laughs> Jesus Christ, we'd be here all. I mean, we don't have I mean, much <laughs> to talk about. <laughs> I know, but but not for this. No, he is. Yeah, no. why not? He can do anything. He can only play Have a crazy you seen person. Have his hair and a river runs through it? Oh, Legend of the Fall. No, that's Legend what I'm thinking. He's fucking hot in that. <laughs> 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 well, that boat, yeah. I don't know. I I, I wish. <laughs> no. I, I wish did, I could. Did you see, uh, not that it was the greatest movie, 
but Inglorious Bastards. Well, I mean, it was goofy. See, that's what I'm, that's what I'm afraid guy. about is that this is going to be. No, I don't think this is going to be goofy. But he's gonna he's gonna the problem with Brad Pitt is when he gets stuck in a in a in a, a character like his thirteen monkeys and um, fight or twelve monkeys and <laughs> Fight Club he plays but the same crazy Indian. person. Yeah. And I think what he's gonna do is he's already. I don't think so. His, he doesn't. He doesn't. No, I think there's a difference between his twelve monkeys character yeah, and his. Uh, 3D oh, Movie yeah. Man and Brad Pitt are from the same place. <gasps> Springfield, dreams. Missouri. Yeah, Missouri, yeah. A river does run through Missouri. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. But I don't know. I mean, I guess I guess it would be all right. I guess we just have to wait and see. Yeah, um, because a lot of people went crazy when they cast him and Tom Cruise in... Uh, yeah, I even... Uh, interview with a vampire, uh, well, and they were both awesome I in that. They did a really good job. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to disagree, but I'll wait and see until this movie comes out. I, I just don't feel like I think it's a wrong move on the part of Paramount. I think the story, since no, since I, since zombies are becoming a major part of movies now, is that they don't need to grab Brad Pitt to play the major role. They need to go the independent route. And go more the artistic who, side get of Bill Murray. Yeah, and get Bill Murray to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who do you think they should get? I, mean, I, I have no idea. Yeah, uh, yeah. Woody Harrelson. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's already but done that. But um, McGregor would be good. But I mean, he's. I mean, he's not as big as Brad Pitt, but he's really not that far. Well, I mean, pretty. he's Star Wars. Yeah. You know, that's pretty big. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Don, as long, as Don long as, Johnson should do it. Yeah. <laughs> as long as they do it. Bruce Willis. He's in a new movie. Yeah. Like he can Bruce do it. Willis. Well, I th- I, I'm assuming they'll, they'll scar uh, his face up. I mean, they, it's not going to be Brad. Be. Well, I don't know. But after like a 10-year zombie revolt, I'm sure you don't look very pretty. If um, you're Brad Pitt. Well, I mean. You can do Jackman. Jackman. New Jack City? What? Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman. <laughs> <laughs> Vigo, uh, <laughs> yeah, as long as they didn't have Samuel L. Jackson play it, yeah, Vigo. Yeah. That guy's like the biggest over actor in the world. Man. Samuel. Yeah, Samuel he's fun. He's great Samuel, in like you know, a lot you, of movies. Buds. He's really good in Black Snake Moon, but he is really good in that. But, but like in the like Red Violin, he he's just like kind of a. Yeah. That would be like my worst case scenario is to put Samuel. <laughs> yeah, how'd I get on the red violin? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Speaking of zombies, like, like um, so this violin goes to China and then from China. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so yeah. I I hope hopefully I'll be proved wrong on this, yeah. and he he will be good. I was just <laughs> recommending that the red violin be watched by you and your that wife. that was. By throwing crumbling paper and if I see it, if I see it on Netflix, it's getting dude. Dude, I had the soundtrack to that. It's so good. <laughs> but you also have never mind. What? Um, moving on to manlier subjects. So. Yeah. <laughs> what? Just because I have a Hugh Grant collection? Yeah. Yeah. Your, yeah. Yeah. He's so, so charming. <laughs> <laughs> Last week on ZombiePopcorn dot com, I posted up the. Official trailer for the movie Machete. Machete. And it was awesome. Mm-hmm. But at Comic Con, since Comic Con's going on and Comic Con rules. This one's better than awesome. They released a Red Band trailer. And it's awesomer. It, you have to see it. So we're going to show it now. It means rated R. Rated oh, okay. R. Not approved for all audiences. Oh, okay. You have to be eight. Oh, yeah. Thanks blood. for saying that. You. You have you need to, if you're gonna if you're watching this in the 3D room or you're watching on the rebroadcast, you must be 18 or older to watch this. Yes. If you're listening to it on the is it 17? No, it's 18. Oh, it's 18. It's 18. You know. Okay, you um, have to be 18. So if you can't go and buy your own pornography, you can't watch this one. That's right. Here's the Red Band trailer for Machete.
Hello. Machete. Woo! That's awesome. So. I don't I don't know what to say about that trailer. It's That trailer's it's awesome. It's a work of art. I think my favorite part is the the uh, rope swing made out of the guy's intestines. That is one of the <laughs> best. He swings from like <laughs> the third story into the second <laughs> story. Totally like shoves, <laughs> cuts his intestines out. It's runs, like, runs down the hallway. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. And jumps out the window to swing down. <laughs> I was, wish all movies were like that. It, it reminds so me awesome. of when I was a kid. My, I remember I had a friend spend the night, and we were probably like, I don't know, nine, ten, something like that. And uh, <clears throat> we got up at like five in the morning, and you know, we was watching TV, and we ended up seeing some movie that was like that. To this day, I have no idea what it is, but it had you know, like Trans Ams and Camaros with bazookas mounted to them, and people getting ripped open, and. We we were on this like awesome movie high for like a month off of that, and that's what that movie reminds me. of. That movie is awesome. I can't wait to see it. And I love the fact that Steven Seagal is in it. <laughs> he's all trying to be a bad. Oh wait, that's all Steven he does. Steven Seagal is a badass. What are you talking <laughs> about? He's also a policeman. That's sad. He's a badass policeman. What are you gonna do with that? Nothing. No, then. <laughs> it's just running out of steam. <laughs> it's fucking hot outside. It is hot. <laughs> but yeah, but what are you going to do? So. Play another trail. <laughs> play another one? Play another oh, yeah. one? Did you tell everyone that we won our... Uh... I thought we talked about that last week, didn't we? Did we? I don't know. I don't know. If we didn't talk about it last week, before, you know, a couple shows... Previous shows, I was complaining about um, how YouTube was blocking the rebroadcast, 3D rebroadcast videos um, on YouTube due to copyright violations, and I disagreed with that and did a argument with them, a dis- um, whatever it's called, and they agreed and they removed the the bans from our videos on YouTube. So woo, no more now copyright violation. Huh? Your mom's basement, most likely, but you can watch him there. You're saying 3D Movie Man lives in his mom's I'm basement? I'm not saying 3D Movie Man. He's the only one that listens. I know. Well, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't know. At a dank basement in Missouri <laughs> filled with 3D gear. And posters of Brad Pitt. He, he obviously can't hear us. No, I guess <laughs> not. Why would we torment the only fan we have? That's like way uncool. He uh, makes stuff for us. He sends stuff. I know. In. He does the and intro like, for hey, it. Douchebag. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. guess. It's tough love. Tough. I guess it's a guy thing. I don't know. That's just what we do. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Well, yeah, he can hear us. He just said yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> cool. I know. So, the show's that professional. It is. <laughs> the we, people we in the are, room we, are like, are you guys still doing the show? <laughs> when the people who are sitting here watching us do it. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Or are you just talking in your annoying loud voice again? <laughs> That's all we do. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, he says it's a little low. I don't really? understand this. What is that? Idea. Oh. <laughs> That's kind of loud. Yeah, bring that down a hair. Yeah. That's just fucking... <laughs> Dude, 
What did you do when you took everything? <laughs> I didn't do anything with that. But anyway, I think we need to go to another trailer real quick. Um, so. Like a Piranha 3D trailer? Uh, no, there is none. Uh, uh, it's too hot for that anyway. Yeah. We're going to go to a Tron trailer. A brand new Tron trailer. This trailer looks really good. It really does. Look, Jeff Bridges on CGI and shit. It's awesome. But I anyway. wish everything was lined with neon like in this movie. This awesome movie is awesome. So let's check out the new Tron trailer. Here it is. And I kept dreaming, dreaming of this world I thought I'd never see. And then one day, something happened. Something extraordinary. What was it? That's gonna have to wait till next time. NCOM CEO Kevin Flynn was reported missing today. He was last seen at his home with his son, Sam. Sam, I was Paige last night. Paige came from your dad's office at the arcade. That number's been disconnected for 20 years. Dad. This isn't happening. fucking good that oh it looks amazing and i'm I, we were just talking about um jeff bridges and and how the young version of him is cgi and how the cgi is supposed to rival um avatar cgi all cgi put together and so but not not as good as american werewolf in paris cgi true true i mean how could you be better oh I mean, seriously, how could you be better? And you could have Bush doing the soundtrack. Although, Skinny Puppy had a song on that soundtrack. Yeah. So, can't talk too much trash. Talk all the trash you want. I know, I'm just trying not to... I'm trying to diminish my image of an asshole. <laughs> you can't do that. <laughs> no. <it's> <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so, I th- I think Tron is definitely going to be... The, the be- movie, the movie of 2010, just it's going to be awesome. I mean, even even though that they're re-releasing um, Avatar this year, whatever I've seen, I think I still think that fucking Tron is going to blow it away. And it's going to be one of those rare movies where the sequel is better than the original. I think so. Yeah, like I, there's not many movies where the sequel's better than the first one. Maybe Terminator Two. That's like the only one I can think of. Well, I think this is going to be better just because, one, the director, I watched an interview with him at, uh, at Comic-Con. The director is so excited for it to be in 3D. He went out of his way to make sure this was awesome 3D. And when they asked him why did he choose to do this movie in 3D, because it's the same director who did the original Tron, and he said that the original Tron 
should have been in 3D, but the, you know the technology wasn't there. But since they were the first to do CGI, it was really 3D because they had to rethink of how to, how to shoot the movie. Because before, you know, when you shot, you had to just think flat dimension. You had to think this is the movie side by side, side scroll, and there's not really depth to it. But when they were doing Tron, the original Tron, he was talking about how he's like, what? There's another side to this motorcycle. There's, you know, and he had to think right, about that. They have those grids everywhere. Yeah, yeah, and that, you know, they were using the CGI and everything. So he's like, it was really what gave him birth, to, you know, to understand that the to film in 3D. And um, so knowing that he has that experience, he's disattached to the movie. I think it, it, it has everything going for it. It has a big budget. It's got an awesome soundtrack going. The visuals are amazing. And it's just, it's Tron. I mean, yeah, the, the light discs look yeah. a lot better. Yeah, they do. The, the bikes, everything, everything looks oh, great the on it. The bikes look great. And, you know, it, it's not going to have, you know, because back then when Disney's, Disney did films. It was it. They all had that undertone. It's gonna be okay. Yeah, and this yeah. this good looks like prevail. a good action movie. Yeah. And I love in the trailer uh, that they kind of tilt the hat to one of my favorite kid movies, um, The Black Hole. You know, when they're showing the Tron figures in the kid's room, um, the poster on the wall is the black hole, and that's awesome I love that movie um, I've told Miley I've never seen it you've never seen it we have to no. we have to have a movie night and watch it because it's yeah it's it's old and, and not really very popular with you know most people but I think it's an awesome mm. movie you know a movie I finally saw like a couple of years ago that I've been meaning to see forever Fantastic Voyage have you ever watched no, that no I don't think I've seen that Dude, that movie is beautiful it's like 1965 psychedelic blood cells and uh, oh man the movie is so good I don't think I've seen it though yeah we'll have to watch then we'll have to watch uh, Fantastic Voyage and The Black Hole and that'll be our double feature it'll be good The Black Hole is actually really really dark I mean in really? terms of the storyline to it well then we'll start with that one okay. and then we'll lighten it up usually with the second feature so. word it's gonna be awesome well I wanna talk about our book club real quick we have one we do have one. Enough said. No, but um, I don't know what we should. let's talk about what we the book the book we offer this week, and then we'll go into the book that you recommended last week and why it's in which relevant. is still a book that I'd recommend this week. Yeah, and talk about the relevance of the two. And this week on the Zombie Popcorn Book Club, we offer the original the classic Psycho most of you know it from the film who introduced um, Anthony Perkins as Norman Bates um, but this book this is the story this is the book that the movie was based on now who wrote Psycho um, Robert Bloch that's what I thought wrote he's Psycho. awesome Robert Bloch is like anytime you go in the horror section of any bookstore and you pick up an anthology of almost anything his name is always on there he's always got a story uh yeah he's been around yeah anyway it's great and um all the reviews for this book um because you can get the audio book and the heart I, I, I was torn between putting the the paperback or the hardback on as an option, but I went ahead and did the hard the hardback because I just love the way the book looks and hardback the just the the way it's the the minimum minimum I can't even talk how minimal it looks. It's just let me show it to you real quick. But that's that's the book. It's pretty awesome. But um, oh right, like the brown paperback. Yeah, it's just old yeah, it's just old old school. Um, very sixties. Yeah. So uh, you have the, you have the choice of getting the audio book at, or the hardback going through Zombie Popcorn Book Club, um, which you can find the link on zombiepopcorn.com. The ebook is not available yet. You can't really? get yeah, which um, it's kind of sad. They need to pick it up a bit so we can get the ebook on here. Wow! But I'm sure it, it will be within the few you know around Halloween. It probably they'll right. probably break it out or something, but. 
But I recommend everybody going to the Zombie Popcorn Book Club, picking this book up. And actually, if you've seen the movie and not read the book, you should definitely read the book because... I'm sure there's always more. There's definitely more. There's more... Um, you become more attached to Norman Bates in this one. Um, and, the you know, the difference between the book and and the movie is that the the Bates Motel was more of a touristy, you know, stop. Or then, you know, in the movie it was, more, you know, kind of secluded and more, you know. Mm-hmm. So check it out. Awesome. Last week we picked a book. Paul picked a book called Solace, and w- he gave his review about it last week. It's kick ass, and I really enjoyed it. He he talked about it so much, and he was just really excited about this book and just how good it was. That we invited the woman who wrote the book onto Zombie Popcorn Radio, and she's going to be Gail on the show. Carringer. Yep. And Gail will be on Zombie Popcorn Radio next Saturday. Well, we were excited because you sent me a link that said, look, this came up. And she had a link on her uh, Twitter page that said, Zombie Popcorn picked me with an exclamation mark. Yep. And we're just kind of floored because we're like, dude, we're like two dorks sitting around a kitchen table sweating and drinking tea. <laughs> you know. But we're, we're the good news tea. is that Gail... Is a huge fan of tea, so yep. we'll all have tea, and uh, we'll see what happens. I think it's I think it's gonna be great. Um, I was I was looking, I'll put up the, on Zombie Popcorn. I'll put up an um, announcement for it soon, but I think it's gonna be great. She seems to be a very funny person. Very you know, very really into being proper. So I don't know how we're gonna <laughs> match. She does seem polite. Yeah. Um, so we'll see how and we're assholes <laughs> and kind of vulgar. But you know what? I have right. I have this Hello Kitty spoon. So that's true for your bubble tea. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> because a real gentleman how uses <laughs> uses a small spoon to get the tapioca out of his bubble I tea. I got to sometimes. So. I enjoyed that movie, so, uh, that uh, book so much that I think it may have been when I read the reviews the week before what spurred spurred on my brief uh handlebar mustache obsession <laughs> so well you, you can talk to her about that um, when she's on the show next saturday she would probably be the only one that actually she probably wouldn't have liked my mustache either i had to shave it off <laughs> you had to shave it off because you didn't like it i, I kind of liked it but i started feeling like a dad but maybe if i had positive reinforcement every every I don't, I don't every like... female i knew was like what the f- hell is going on <laughs> the only people who liked it were guys because all guys just said that's pissing off your wife isn't Dude, it i mean it I does, was, it doesn't I, even I was, know if the guy work, knows your wife that, and <laughs> and this 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 uh no, girl that, that works there part-time <laughs> uh came in and she she goes like what the hell are you doing <laughs> right and one of the producers i work with was sitting there as a guy maybe only a couple years younger than me and I said get this I'm growing a handlebar mustache she's silent without missing a beat this guy goes mad props (laughs) (laughs) it's just like whoa (laughs) but then when I shaved it and he asked me why'd you shave it and I told him because I felt like a dad he told me because he had a beard the other year that when he shaved his beard he left like the biker, like, you know, the handlebar that goes, the, the, the mustache that goes down, like the YMCA biker mustache. And he said, you know, I didn't really care about wearing it to work. I don't care what anyone here thinks. But then I had to run into Home Depot to grab some stuff on a Saturday. And I was walking around with this mustache in Home Depot. <laughs> and I just felt like a douchebag. So I went home <laughs> and shaved it. So I was trying to figure and this out. this is facial hair. Yeah, this, sh- yeah. this should have no bearing I know, on right? your personality. Well, or this is what's <laughs> funny. Because when I, when I thought about growing this handlebar mustache, I, I, I mentioned it to a friend who's uh, a lot older. The guy that has Futures Antiques yeah. here. And, of course, he's got a huge beard. And, and he's all about it. And he's like, 
doing. But he's he single, said, though, He said, right? I, no, he's married. <laughs> I, I have a variation of such a thing, and I run faster. I tell funnier <laughs> jokes because of my beard. And, and he said, plus, chicks dig it. Now, here's the thing. This guy grew up, was a teenager in the 60s. Yeah. <laughs> It's total change of facial hair. but to, I mean, there are a whole bunch of like indie guys now that are into it. But on the whole, our generation, we view facial hair in a really negative way. Yeah, we do. So, yeah, it was an interesting experiment. I don't know. I, I, I can never grow facial hair. I, I, got, I got less like of those like hot topic-y kind of, you know, girls in huge pants like giving me the... The eye and target when that's I walked a, in, and, and I like got that, more. Right? I got more like older moms smiling at me, and I was like, "Oh, no!" She, the older moms were dad. smiling at you, like, "Oh, poor boy, you'll yeah. learn, you'll yeah. learn." <laughs> and and the young girls were like, "Why is that creepy old man staring <laughs> at me?" <laughs> I wish it. <laughs> I wish he just stop looking at me. Why is he looking at me? Why is he? Why is he in the women section? <laughs> Oh, that dude's a weirdo. <laughs> Dude, I could see his handlebar through the slats <laughs> of the jersey. <laughs> Weird. Ah, oh, that's creepy. Yeah, way to go, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> always like to take it one step too far. Always, always. But, you know, since we're talking about beards here, I'm going to have to pull this out. I was going to save this for later, but since right. we're talking about it now, and this this trailer that I want to play. Um, it's oh, not we are talking about beards later in the show. Don't worry, that was a spontaneous <laughs> I might have Tourette's, so occasionally. I didn't understand. 3D. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 3D. So, <laughs> anyway, that just did not work. So, um, while I'm waiting for my computer to respond, let's talk about something else. We were going to talk about beards, but that's not working, so... How about we talk about um, video games? Okay. At Comic Con, again, because Comic Con is amazing. Comic Con's g- given us our whole. Show. I know. I mean, <laughs> I mean, if E three was going on, it'd be the same thing. Yeah. But um, there's a game that came out in 2000. Alice McGee's, or Amer- Alice American McGee. McGee's Alice, which was a PC game that took you into the realm of Alice in Wonderland. You play as Alice, but she's a bit psychotic. It's a really dark, you know, she carries a big blade, dripping is, blood, blood soap. Is this related in any way to the, like, Tom McFarlane Alice series, or are no, they two different things? Two different things. Okay. Two different things. Um, yeah, we wanted to get this game, and then we couldn't find it for Mac. Yeah, well, because it, it was only for PC at the time, because what, 2000 wasn't the year for Mac video games, but, um, it's so popular because of the artwork. There's so much, first of all, just, just talking about, um, the, the original game, American McGee's Alice, the box cover and the art in it was sent to the censors so many times that they had to rechange it. The original box has a picture of, of the game box has a picture of Alice with Chester the cat on it but Alice is oh, yeah. is, is is a in a black dress with the kind of you know the white apron in front and it's blood stained there's blood splatters all over it, and she's wielding this huge knife and Chester the cat sitting next to her with this evil grin and his skin and bone looks like you know been dead forever you know it's just it's just skin and you can see the ribs and stuff well the censors made EA Change change the covers. So they they gave meat some meat to the bones of um, Chester the cat, and they changed the weapon of of what Alice had in her hand and gave her a staff. Well, they didn't like that either, so they so they ended up cha- they ended up changing it to where Alice where Chester the cat was just normal pretty much, and Alice had these playing cards on it. So that that was the um, the new the the final image that hit the street. But uh, the other variations made it to the market before they got before yeah, I guess. I thought I saw it with the knife. Yeah, uh, but it only lasted for a while. Right now, if you have the 
a new unopened box of the original. It's the, one of the most expensive PC games that you can get. It's become a collector's item. The second one is like if you had the one with with the staff, it's something like you can buy it on eBay for something like 250, I think it is. And then of course the price drops down with the the newer one, and it's become a collector's item. The game itself, the gameplay, I played it. I played it forever. Um, I enjoyed it just because I, the camera angles were wrong for me, and it, it involved too many different platform issues to it. Where well, you had to jump across this area, and I and I hate doing shit like that. But I was really really fascinated with the psychotic environment, the insanity and stuff on there. Well, at Comic Con this year, they're bringing Alice back, and the name of the game is um, oh fuck, what is the name of the game? <laughs> oh, a- Alice Madness Madness Returns. You would have made the best salesman ever. Oh yeah, I know. <laughs> that would have been awesome, wouldn't it? Um, the, Are they gonna have it for Mac now? Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure they will. Um, they I don't think they've announced what platforms, or if they have, I haven't paid attention to it. Um, but I, I'm sure it's going to be on all of them because the the original was going to hit to the Xbox, but due to contracts and stuff, they just decided to drop it and not worry about it. Um, so it never made it to consoles. This one, I'm almost positive it will make it to console. And here's a teaser for it. This is Alice, the Madness Returns. That's just, it's just a teaser. A teaser, just a right? Teaser. I, but I was waiting. And I was like, <gasps> oh. <laughs> but it looks great. I love that the, the environment. Mm-hmm. You, know, you have all the skulls, and you have the the bodies hanging there. I wish. Now I like we. That sentence made no sense. <laughs> 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 of course, we went to see the the newest Alice in Wonderland three. We went together, didn't we? Yeah. All of us. Yeah. It was good, but it would have been better if it was like that. If it, if it was, yeah. It definitely was. This story, the, the Return to Madness, uh, Madness Returns, um, the story plot is 11 years ago, a horrific fire took Alice's family. And this is pretty much the same storyline as the original um, starting off. Mm-hmm. Um, took it, The fire took the, Alice's family and, and left her terribly burned and her mind terribly scarred. You know, and then afterwards, she was confined in, in the same asylum. Um, where she was continued to struggle with her dem- demons slipping into her fantasy world of Wonderland. Now, ten years later, um, she finally gets her release, and she still bears heavy psych- psychological burden of that tragic event. So she's released from the asylum in London, and night nightmarish hallucinations continue to haunt her and invade her reality. So it, it kind of takes you to, takes you that. That's got everything you could want oh in a game. Oh no, it's fucking awesome. In London, which is always the heart, the heart of um, good horror, mm-hmm. and um, but it, it actually looks good. I'm really excited that the the, um, the art. This is the screenshots and stuff. This is actually one from the game. Nice, the, that looks the good. environment that looks looks pretty amazing. Um, Chicks dressed in black wearing knives are always cool. Oh yeah, oh, and the little skull and the and the yeah yeah. It's always good. So nice. Yeah. But um, I want to go back to the the beard thing that we were talking about. Oh, right. <laughs> Actually, I think our camera froze, so I can't go back to that just yet. Um, yeah, we totally got a fr- freezing going on here. What an awesome technical show. I know. Why does this happen? But anyway, let's just keep moving. So um, I don't think there was a release date for Alice yet. Um, but I guess as soon as it... As soon as we find out something... I will post, post it, it and let people know. Um, in the meantime, should we talk about tonight? I'm going to post on Zombie Popcorn Stories a new story. Um, 
that this one actually in, uh, involves someone we know. Actually, one of the other ones involved someone we know. <laughs> but yeah, so um, this one, the, na- the name of this zombie popcorn stories is called Life Lessons. And what kind of grabbed me for this, um, for, the, the, for the title of it, was the story itself um, is really entertaining. And there was an article on, on an online newspaper that, that said children can learn everything they need to learn in life from playing sports. And I thought that title, you know, that article was awesome because the story that we're posting tonight. This is a person learns a lesson in life that they should never forget through sports, through sports from their coach. And I think um, if you have children, you should gather them up, bring them around the speakers and listen to this story tonight because you will not be disappointed. You will walk away with knowledge, with newfound knowledge that you can carry. Actually, on. you won't walk away with knowledge. <laughs> knowledge isn't the right word. You will walk away with, with wisdom, life. with wisdom, a life lesson. Yes. So check out zombie popcorn stories tonight and you will see a new story. Dun, dun, dun. So, yeah. Awesome. Everything is dead. <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Everything that's on this is dead. We are still good. All right. So are we playing the story? Not yet. Oh. No, we're not going to play it. Oh. We can't right. See, nothing. Oh, so then go on the website. I would say people, but I'm more like person. You can't yet. It's Guy listening, eventually go on the website. Yeah. After the show tonight, I will have it up. So, and if you're listening to the broadcast, it's already up. Rebroadcast. Um, so, yeah. There's a lot of trailers, and we have no internet. Where are we at now? <laughs> <laughs> What's that? I said, where are we at now? We're just stalling. We are, we are here now. We're good. We're good. I think. I hope. So, after, after uh, we post this story, mm-hmm. then we should have the, the epic one that we've been mentioning. Uh, here and there, the, our carnival story. Yeah, that will be up for... This is the primer to hopefully get people back in because we have been a hair lax. Just call it Carney. I don't Maybe have a we'll title for it yet. Carney but, sounds good. But he did call me or text me and said he has more stories for us. So if you like the story that he's, we're going to have up next week, um, we'll definitely have more for you. For Shizzle. I would love to show you more trailers, but that's just not working right now. So. <laughs> oh, crap. We have to talk. We, um, have, we have to talk. Um, so, Pirates of the Caribbean um, on Strang- Stranger Ties will hit theaters May 20th, 2011. Um, Johnny Depp did a teaser preview in 3D at Comic-Con, um, and you can watch the 2D version online. And... I don't know. I've I've never seen a Pirates of the Caribbean movie, and none of them ever seem to seem good. I (laughs) have seen them all. Uh, I liked the first one. I kind of like the second one. The third one, it's it's always was this always with the third movie that everything goes to shit. Uh, okay. uh, you get so many different writers in there. I guess. Trying to uh, but this this fourth one, I heard they actually massively cut the budget. Really? Like, yeah. The, on the, the 3D one? Yeah. Like, slashed it in half. I, I was, like, watching E or something, and they were talking about it. And it's, instead of filming, you know, they had to film in, like, different locations, not in Hawaii this time. And so I think... I'm hoping they realized because the third one was just a a big mess. Yeah. That uh, I mean, none of them are real serious movies. You know, you're not going to walk away with some profound life lesson from it. But you but, will on zombie popcorn stories. Yes, and I'm sure the person that tells that story uses the phrase "profound life lesson." <laughs> um, 
Yeah, yeah, they're fun, but the third one's not so fun anymore. It's uh, too long. It's long, it's really convoluted, and it's just kind of, it's too much shit going on. And, and there is a scene where, in the very beginning, where all these people are, are going to be hanged for piracy. All right? And... So, and one of the people, be, they're hanging like 30 people all at once, you know, and there's some like little kid that, that's being hanged as well. So they put him up on a barrel and he starts singing all slow, breaks into the yo-ho, yo-ho pirate's life for me, <laughs> right? And, and then everyone else starts joining. They don't know what to do. Oh, things go crazy. But then they, they pull in and they focus on this kid's face. And he's wearing braces. <laughs> now, I don't know who... I mean... I work in post-production. But, I mean, we saw this in the video... In the, in, the, in the theater. How did no one catch the fact that this kid has braces and it's... What year is it supposed to be? Like, Probably like 18-something. No, no. Pirates were more... Yeah, maybe it was uh, yeah, 1790, something like that. It was just a kid with a, like a you know a pink retainer in or something. I mean, it was ridiculous. That that was the start of the movie for me. Uh, it was the start for everybody, but it really pissed me <laughs> off. And uh, yeah, so I'm hoping I'm hoping on this fourth one that uh, they realized that the third it had just gotten way too crazy and overblown kind of like this rant has no, gone that's good and uh because <laughs> you gotta fix the computer so uh i'm hoping that it'll be a little more streamlined uh yeah, although having it in 3d doesn't sound like it but, but, you said, but you said that they cut the budget on it i mean yeah why would you cut the budget on a 3d budget? well i don't think the third one made as much as no as I'm saying, I'm, oh i mean it was just bad Yeah. Cool. So, so yeah. Hopefully, this one will be better. They are they are fun. Um, I've never seen any of them. So, uh, I you could watch the first one and, and you know kill it. some time. Yeah, the first but, one's fun. I, I like know, it. They just never really. I don't know. They just never really. Have you ever Have you ever watched that show Extras? Extras, extras, extras. Uh, it's uh, Ricky Gervais. No. Oh, it's really good. He had uh, he plays an extra in England, and uh, that's his job. He's just always getting parts as extras in the studio. And they have Orlando Bloom come on, and he's going through this whole thing. He's telling everyone over and over what a better kisser he is than Johnny Depp, <laughs> and that uh, even Kira Knightley said so. And it just keeps like making all these references to the to the movie. That's funny. Uh, that was a hilarious show. I'd recommend checking it out. Well, speaking of, okay, I, I, I have the um, teaser that Johnny Depp did for the new Pirates of the Caribbean. Remember that this fi this trailer was done, this teaser was done in 3D, and the people watching it saw it in 3D. But here, here's the video. Hello boys and girls, or whatever. My name is Captain Jack Sparrow. Ah, I take it some of you have heard of me. As you may well know, there are times, almost constantly in fact, where I prefer to look at the world through the bottom of a glass. Rub, something like this. You may have also heard whisperings and rumors that Jack Sparrow will be recruiting a crew to undertake a voyage to the Fountain of Youth. Not true. Of course not. But even if it weren't not true, you wouldn't be interested in joining me, would you? Eh? No. Thought not. I do admit that there'll be varied and substantial dangers along the way, including, but not limited to, zombies, cutthroats, mermaids, Vicious and vivacious than it be crazy. Which is why I'm not going. So, possible to find the place anyway. No one knows where it is. 
Suppose they'd have to have a bloody map. Or a bloody Mary. Or both. Which is not a bad idea, in fact, Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary's all around. It's on the mouse. Barman! So that's uh, Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides coming out to May 20th, 2011. It's still a kick-ass ride at Disney World. Yeah, I imagine it would be, but... Um, Not as good as the Haunted Mansion, but it's... So you put your hands Whoa! up! Whoa! <laughs> what was that? <laughs> there was a, <laughs> the video after that video. But um, the Haunted Mansion... Um, Not such a good movie, though. But they're remaking it. Are they? Yeah, Del Toro's um, on board with it. Really? Yep. Well, that sounds cool, but... It's just weird to me that now it's okay to just go, okay, forget about the first one. We screwed up. Yeah. Come and see this one. Yeah. yeah I don't know. Yeah. This is what I guess do. it's really hard for Eddie Murphy to be successful unless he's voicing <laughs> a, a donkey now. Whoa. Oh, you mean from Shrek? Yeah. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Well, here what? in the Commonwealth of Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you said that. Yeah. We're just on our way, officer, to a civil <laughs> war reenactment. It's true. We were. <laughs> we were. <laughs> but oh, So, anyway. <laughs> anyway. Since we talk about this character every fucking show, it seems, it only makes sense for us to talk about it now. Oh, the man. The man. The half our show is dedicated. No, I am Nicholas so Cage. excited. Nicholas Cage. I know that yeah. half our show is dedicated to. Yeah. Half uh, I'm so excited to see this movie. I think it sounds great. Have you seen the trailer for it yet? No, I haven't. It's pretty fucking awesome. I just keep getting all the text messages you send me about it. In between all the Do I send you text messages? I don't yeah. send you text messages about this. Let me get these balls in my mouth. But yeah, <laughs> um, Drive Angry is a new 3D movie coming out with Nicolas Cage. Nicholas, this movie is about Nicolas Cage hunting down the people who brutally killed his daughter and kidnapped her baby. And the chase gets bloodier by the mile. Oh, I just got breaking news that we're all going to Disney World in the fall. Are we? Yeah. Why? Why are we going to Disney World? Because it's awesome. Okay, back to Nicholas Cage. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's like a sidekick that fucks up your role. Yeah, huh? what the fuck? <laughs> you're not a very good sidekick. <laughs> I can't believe you actually think of me as a sidekick. You just said you were a sidekick. <laughs> I love that I just almost threw this paper on the candle. <laughs> I love how that my sidekick really burnt dramatic. down my home. <laughs> yeah, I'm your sidekick now. <laughs> you said it, so I'm just yeah. going to go. Not even co-host, it. man. I uh, figured you always so thought of me as just a sidekick. <laughs> yeah. I'm your fucking well, Andy Rooney. For for now on, like... Um, <laughs> your Andy Rooney? Who's the Andy Richter? <laughs> 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 I would rather be Andy Rooney. Than, you know what the problem is with socks? <laughs> they always get lost. <laughs> I mean, what happens to these? Uh, all right. No yeah. one who listened to this show probably watched 60 Minutes. No. It's 3D Movie Man, right? Yeah. yeah. Do you watch 60 Minutes 3D Movie Man? not going to know what 3D Movie Man has to say right now. <laughs> no, that's um, right. We're cut off. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. So, anyway, back to Nicolas Cage on Drive Angry, which is a 3D movie um, coming out, which actually looks pretty awesome. Um, it c- it's supposed to hit theaters February 11th. Um and we should just play the trailer because I think it looks amazing. Let's do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Where is she? You're too late. First full moon. She's dead and hell's going to walk the earth. Hell already is walking the earth. 
They killed my daughter. I took her baby. I am going to get her back. That's teaser that's the, te the teaser trailer for it, and I love the fact that are there mics? No. Um, I l I love the fact that in the teaser trailer it says "Drive Angry" shot in 3D because they know that there are two crazy guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, yeah. There's one dude from yeah. Texas and one dude from Missouri that'll kick, kick your our ass. <laughs> But it actually looks fun. I mean, it's a 3D movie. It's, um, it does look fun. It, it was co-wrote by Tom Farmer, who uh, collaborated um, with him on My Bloody Valentine 3D. So it it looks like uh, what was the the Tarantino movie in the Grindhouse? Death Proof. Death Proof. It looks like what I thought Death Proof was going to be. Oh yeah. But sadly, was but not. It wasn't. I don't know. What are you going to do about that? And what's cooler than car chase in 3D? In muscle cars, no less. Muscle cars, explosion, and in guns. 3D. If and there could, be a, if there could be a double feature with this and Machete, oh, that would be, that that would be like the greatest night of my Wait, life. Wait, that would be Grindhouse again, wouldn't it? It <laughs> would, but it would <laughs> but done be better. better. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. No, I think it looks amazing. Now. It does. When's it coming out? Um, February 11th, 2011. Awesome, I know it's next year, but what are you what are you gonna do? Have you heard anything about the goon? No, just what is on this uh, piece of paper <laughs> in front of me. I haven't even heard of it. You've not heard of the goon? How can you be a zombie? You know what's awesome what's is that? Jan goes to me today. What's what's this week's show about? And I'm like, ah, uh, <laughs> I just show up and tell shitty jokes. <laughs> You do the sidekick stuff. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Yes, I'm now I'm your Ed McMahon bitch, huh? <laughs> You're supposed to go. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> so when we actually have a guest in here, I have to sit one seat over yeah, and, and down. move down. Let me, let, me, let me move your mic down one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're calling in. Can you still sit one? Day? Yeah. <laughs> no, dick. No, but Goon Jackass. is a is a comic book, which um, he's an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> and they they've made a uh, f um, they're making a f full featured film. I mean, we've all heard what the solo show sound like. I don't know if that goes. <laughs> what? <laughs> Go, we're listening. Really? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, I'm done. <laughs> Wait till I get my spin off, people. Yeah. <laughs> I got contracts waiting. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, The Goon is a new feature, animated feature is coming out based on the comic book under the same title, um, which is a story about um, The Goon. He's a muscle-bound brawler who claims to be the primary enforcer for one of the most feared mobsters. Um, and it's pretty much his story. And if you like zombies, you'll actually love this animated feature so here's the trailer if you want to see it and whispering still makes it where you can be heard <laughs> cross-eyed retard before me! Don't be pointing that crooked eye at me, Carl. I'll knock it straight for you. Here, I bought this thing for me a second, will you, Frankie? Found him behind the bar, reading now we cats. Goon, we can't have a slack jaw here. Yeah. Oh. What have we here? Now, me, my friend. Norton, give me a drink! A worm pie here is buying. 
and some snacks. <laughs> That's what makes it so funny. <laughs> Get it? Hey. Mother. Fuck! 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 it? Fuck! Hey. Fuck! 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 Crack a few heads. Little extortion. Done by six o'clock and a man could go bowling. So that was The Goon, which actually looks like an awesome upcoming film that everybody should check out. Jan disagrees. Really? You don't think so? You thought it looked lame. Why? It looked too cartoony and not in a cool way. It was an animated, it's based on a comic. But it didn't look cool. It looks just just identical to the comic. I wasn't feeling it. See what I have to live with? Every day, I'm like, I'm like, hey, check out this new song I wrote for you, and she's yeah. like, oh, I would, I don't like songs in that key, and then Damn. I cry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's sad. I'm so sorry. Paul. That's okay. That's why I write all my songs to you and Hugh Grant now. Awesome. And Hawson. Hawson. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God this is... <laughs> we shouldn't post this show. <laughs> yeah, we got to. Yeah, because actually we talk about how it's maybe now surpassed the other worst show. We'll get more... <laughs> <laughs> we'll get more views on it, man. That's the way it works. <laughs> and then if we put the like Sex in the City on it, we'll, we'll, we'll get even more. The worst show ever that ends in sex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <and> then ever. <laughs> See, you only understand that if you won't listen to any of the other shows. Um, well that's just oh, works. I just got it because it does end in alien sex. <laughs> that's very good, and it's good to have the women on. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> I thought mute them. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. So, welcome to Zombie Popcorn Radio, <laughs> the show where you get nothing. It's true. So, there is... What was I going to say? Um, I don't know. Everything on this piece of paper has been covered. No. <laughs> Except for the epic news that we have that we're probably See, not going to cover. I think we should talk about it. We're not going to, to play it because we're having so many technical difficulties. So it would be an, the, another show that we do it. But we do have a listener still, so... <laughs> Thank um, you, one listener. One listener there. No. Um, Everybody else has already right-clicked this if they know, downloaded it. Fucking... We, you, you want to tell the story? We, okay. A couple of weeks back, I get an email from Warner Brothers saying, would you like to interview Corey Feldman and Jameson Moolander? So I was like, yeah, sure. Why not? About their upcoming film, The Lost Boys 3, The Thirst. Really exciting, you know. 
to Zombie Popcorn. Gets to interview these folks. Woo! So I write back and say, all right, cool. I, I would like to do this. They write back saying, okay, we're going to do a roundtable interview. We're going to invite you and a couple other media outlets. We're going to conference you in. Well, first they said if you're at Comic-Con, you can come in and just sit down um, to the conference room. And I was like, well, we're not we're not going to be there. And she goes, all right, we'll conference you in. So here's the numbers that you call. You call in. It's going to be about an hour-long interview. You can ask whatever questions you want to ask, blah, blah, blah. So we're like, kick ass. So we get our questions ready. That last night we call in, and there were some minor technical difficulties on their part, and not really that organized. Um, couldn't really hear what was going on. It was all muffled and everything. They were there, and one question was asked. Another question was asked from someone else. A follow-up question from that was asked. And then they said, oh, time's up. Got to go. And that was it. So we're like, what the fuck? We didn't even get to ask a question. It was it was so unorganized, so just really, really let, you know, kind of let me down a bit. Um, Although we appreciate the offer. <laughs> yeah, no, we really do. And I was like, I was like what the fuck? Um, so anyway. Get a get a phone call a couple of minutes later from the person that set up this thing with us, and kind of apologized for what happened, and um, offered offered to try to set up another interview for us, um, and that they would get back to me next week on it, um, because you know they have other stuff lined up that they're going to launch, and then we can do it around those those launches and stuff like that. Yeah, so. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of crap going on I would Comic-Con, play what we got um, from the conference the interview but I'm going to save that for another week just because we're having so many weird issues right now with everything that if we do play it, it sh- I want to make sure it's well hopefully we can play it next week and then maybe we can get uh, Gail's view on vampires as well no we could do that book, yeah uh, so yeah this is my half ass way that's, that's <laughs> trying to appease everyone yeah. No, but I think I think that's I mean the stuff that we got was all right, but it was just really a letdown that, that the way the way it happened it, and how it was put together it was almost like it was a zombie popcorn show. Um, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? I, what? I, you hear me? I yeah. So, I mean, I guess uh, what do you expect? But hopefully we'll get another interview with them and it'll be you better. mean a interview <laughs> huh? not really another yeah i guess, but, I guess uh, you're right, yeah. we got to listen to them talk on the phone for like 20, 10 minutes it was it 10 minutes 15 minutes it was about 15 yeah. minutes yeah and first half of it was really nothing but <laughs> yeah <laughs> so might have to clean it off some and yeah i don't know. so i was very let down with that um but I'm I'm sure they'll make it right. I'm sure. Anyway. So everything is messing up on this, so it's kinda of upsetting me, so I'm gonna end the show now. Boo hiss. Boo hiss. But yeah. There's I don't know why we're having so much problem, but we're having problems and sometimes it's better to just walk away. And just walk away. <laughs> oh now look what starts working. Look at that. Wow. Right oh, when I say walk oh away. Oh, my God. Anyway, no. Sometimes it really, it makes computers like, no shit. Sometimes it is better to walk <laughs> away. He's like, well, no, but now it's not working. Yeah. I guess we've been, I guess it's been, because it's saying that it's been recording for I the last hour. I think we should hour. just burn sage around your computer every time we Dude, we start. What did you Cleanse mean? all the gremlins. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's all crazy. But it's working. Hmm. Well, too late. We called the show. So. <laughs> Jen's in the chat room says, who are you guys talking to right now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. This isn't live, is it? <laughs> <laughs> so that that kind of tells you how this, this show's been going. So, um, Good night. Yeah. Thank you for listening to Zombie Popcorn and putting up with us. Um, I will guarantee to have this shit fixed. Wait, we're reconnecting with the 
Okay, fuck this. I'm, I'm out. This is, <laughs> I don't understand. Again, thank you for listening. Sorry for the problems, and we'll make it up to you next week. Have a good night. Bye.